Welcome back. So I'm here in the storage place and I need to make sure that this machine is fully working for the new location. So let's check it out. So all of this is going into the storage. Stuff that I'm not using at the moment because I'm going to take it in there so it's not taking up unnecessary space in the van. And we're good to go. So I've got the stuff back in the storage now and I've got two machines in storage. This has Koyan machine, Mistral, really like this one. And I've got another as Koyan at the back there, quite a big machine. And I've got a few bits and pieces in storage. Coin mech, another coin mech, coin box. Nice little storage unit. First things first, I need to be able to connect this to the power. There's no power in this storage unit. So I've got my extension cable. I've got two extension cables, that one. And I bought this one just in case. I need to make sure that it's long enough to reach the power point outside and uh, this one i've got as well which is longer but as you can see where is it right here it was cut through by some gardeners or a gardener a specific gardener she cut through my extension cable by mistake um so i've got to repair that one when i get a chance i'll put it back together make it work again but for now Got to connect this to the power to make sure that this vending machine works for the new location. So the machine should be switched on right now, guys. Let's just make sure this is plugged in here. Fingers crossed. make sure we've got the right keys so if we don't know which key it is we'll be in trouble yes so this here is what they call the coin mech coin mech here doesn't look like it's on at the moment why is that not on here we go just a little bit of a loose wire and now the coin mech is on and it says okay check vendor probably because there's no change in there at the moment but yeah nothing in there but we're all good yes wow that light the thing I love about this vendor machine guys is that it's got something called eye detect. So you know one of the most annoying things about when you buy something from a vendor machine 
and your packet of crisps start turning and then it stops right here or the eye detect these little sensors here make sure that unless something drops down to here past the sensor it will keep turning and turning and turning until it drops which is perfect because then you get less complaints happy customers happy customers means more customers more customers means more profit so what i'm gonna do now guys is a real quick um test vent and a test vent is where you turn all of the spirals inside the vending machine and that makes sure that each of them turns properly and i'll find out now rather than when i put it on location and then get issues afterwards so i'm going to do a test vent and test all of the different spirals all of the different sections and make sure they're turning nicely now just before i test these motors i've just noticed that i've got one two three drink trays as you can see this bottom drink tray it comes with this bar across the top because it's to help stop the bottles or the can the big cans from falling forwards as you can see the space in this section here on this tray is a lot bigger than this tray and this tray that's because these ones are for cans or small bottles these ones are for cans or small bottles these ones are for big bottles or big cans The good thing is we know that all the motors are working perfectly fine. That noise that you can hear, that humming noise is the refrigeration unit. So we know that the refrigeration is working and it's nice and cold in here. So that's good. It's gonna keep the products nice and chilled and the drinks nice and cold. And the only thing we have to do is come and fill it with change, clean it up so that it's nice and clean because it's been in the storage for a little while. So it's a little bit dusty and then take it to the new location and fill it with the products that they've asked for. Yes, let's go. Welcome back guys. So today, as you can see, I'm back in the storage with this vending machine and I'm just about to get it ready for installation tomorrow morning and the last thing for me to do is attach the card reader so that people can pay contactless. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. Just in case you haven't seen one before, let me show you exactly what it looks like. Hold on a second. There we go. So this is gonna get attached up here at the front and I'm gonna have to um, drill a hole, attach the wires, make sure it's working, and then we'll be good to go. When you next see this tomorrow, it will be going onto the uh, van to go down the road to the new location, to a new home. So the plan is to obviously have all of my machines with card readers, with contactless payment readers on them because people just don't carry coins nowadays. And if we can make it easier for them to buy something from the vending machine hopefully that means that they're gonna buy more and if they buy more that means we're doing better in business and if we're doing better in business that means we can grow and if we can grow you never know what can happen next so that's the plan so let's get going so right here guys i have the different items that i'm gonna need to attach this contactless card reader to the vending machine so i've got this wire here which is the mdb cable so this connects from the contactless reader to the uh, coin mechanism in the vending machine to make sure that all the payments that are taken by card will register with the vending machine and it will come through to me 
on my phone through the app. And then I've got the guide here. This is to make sure that I screw the, or I drill the holes into the right places on the machine. Don't want it to be wonky. Then I've got the aerial here. This makes sure that the um, sales and all the messages get transmitted properly through the Wi-Fi to the app. Then I've got the, this to secure it onto the actual machine, make sure that it's in place, nice and secure with the screws. I've got these drill bits, which are to create nice holes in the machine. And then my trusty old drill. Um, and that's it, it's quite simple. If you guys want to actually see a full rundown of how you attach or how you install this card reader onto a vending machine, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a full walkthrough video of how you do that. And we are good to go, people. We have connected it up. Card readers in there, all connected, all the wires, all in. Got the little antenna up there. There you go. So the card readers all connected up. It's all on. It says use exact money right now because there's no coins in the actual coin mech. So I've got to fill that later. But everything's working absolutely fine. And as you can see, if we was to just test it, so we press the green button, it says to select a product. Let's just pretend we're going to select um, AA. Please present your card or your mobile phone. That we should pay £1.25 with our card, mobile phone, our Apple Watch, Apple Pay, um, Android Pay, whatever it is that they wanted to pay with. And then the product will come out. And we're good to go. So, I'm gonna cancel Transaction that for now canceled. because there's no products in there, but we're all set. Card reader is in, and we are good to go. Arrived, new location. See you soon.